Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? What day is it? Hump day! Yep, I'm speaking to you from the past. This is Wednesday afternoon. Recording this video to publish it tonight for our patrons. Yeah, boy! Gotta get it out there. And what everyone waits for. What's sold? What's sold on eBay? Yeah, that's what we care about, right? We want the money in the bank. We don't care about your hypotheticals, your potentials. What your potential value is. We want to see what you got in the bank. So, bam. Here we go. Uh, first up, we got this Transformers Dark Side of the Moon. Man, just wasn't a great movie. At least I didn't enjoy it. I grew up with Transformers 2 in the 80s, so, you know, too bad I don't have those new, right? But this was uh, just a few bucks. We I picked this up for literally a dollar or two. This was really small in the picture. You can't tell, but this is a really small little Transformer. And I had this listed for $14.40, and that's what it sold for. $14.40 plus $7.85 shipping in the global shipping program. So somebody paid to have this shipped to them overseas. Where? I have no idea, but... Somewhere out there, there's a sound wave transformer out in the world. Next up, yeah, buddy, some Levi's. Uh, these are the pair I was talking about in my haul video. If you have not seen my haul video, shame, shame, know your name. I had got a pair almost exactly like this in my haul video. Uh, the side, these are a 30-30. The ones I got in my haul video are 30-34. But uh, these are awesome. These are orange tab, brand new with the tags. Had these listed for $42.54. Someone hit me up with an offer of $35 plus shipping and I accepted. $35 plus $8.30 shipping. Total of $43.30. Yep, we see what you did there. Sly dogs. Next up, oh my gosh. Holy guacamole. The Tasmo. I just got this. Don't... Now my last haul video, go back and watch the last haul video. It's good stuff. But the one before that, this is in the haul video. Tell me what I paid for it. I cannot remember. I paid up for this. I think I paid about 30 bucks for this. This was brand new in the box and there was no comps. It's why you can't be afraid of stuff with no comps, people. There was nothing. No listeds, no solds, nothing on Google. Google it. Duck, duck, go. Bing. Checked them all. Nothing. But this was brand new in an open box. See, this is open box. It's right up there. Uh, took pictures of it, listed it up, put it what I thought it was a pretty high price. Check that out. Took it out. Brand new. Pretty high price. One hundred twenty-four dollars, and that's what it sold for. One hundred twenty-four dollars in less than twelve hours. Super fast on the Tasmo Bosch T65 beverage system. Not just a coffee maker. It's a beverage system. And you see right there on the screen it says shipping $13.10. Well, that would be if I was shipping it to myself. What in the world would you want to ship it to yourself? This person was in California and they paid $124 plus $51.80 shipping. Holy moly. Shoo. Man, that makes me want to go back in time to Taco Tuesday. My gosh, $51.80. So that's a total of $175.80 for the Tazimo beverage system. Man, what a good flip. And goes to show you, I was concerned about this one paying 30 bucks for it. Pshh. Had no reason to be concerned. <laughs> The jeans, Levi's, 560s, I sold a lot of pretty good jeans, but these are a good story on this one. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you these. These are the 560s, brand new with the tags, 3430. Uh, sold for thir full price, $30.25, but over on the other account, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. This other pair of jeans sold as well, Levi's, 560s, 3634, same exact size. These I took an offer on at $30. But the same person, that's a subscriber. Thank you, subscriber. You're so nice. I appreciate it. A subscriber bought this pair of jeans off my second account and this pair of jeans on our main account. So, of course, I did combine shipping for him. You know, even though there's no way. See, I bought the shipping on the second account. 
and you can't copy that tracking number over to the main account. So in a general rule of thumb, I would never do that for someone because you can't prove that this second pair was delivered. You just got to mark it as shipped and not put a tracking number on there. But this was a subscriber. They were like, Mike, hook me up. I need some jeans. I saw you have these two on two different accounts. Can you just combine shipping? I'm like, heck yeah, man. I can do that for you all day long. So that's what we did. He paid the $30.25 for these jeans, and he paid $30 for the other pair, plus $9.45 shipping total. So a total of 60, 69, about 70 bucks for two pair of jeans. So thank you. He didn't want his name out there, but you know who you are, and I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. I think that's the first time a subscriber has bought something off my eBay store, and I appreciate that. Christmas in May. Oh my gosh, not again. What are you doing? Why do you have Christmas crap listed? Because it sells. <laughs> Maybe not for what it would sell for in the holiday season. That is a fact. But Christmas crap sells all year. It just does. Kurt Adler, 15 inch musical snow blowing fiber optic. Blah, 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 blah. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, we picked this up during late in the Christmas season, and I only bought this like a few days before Christmas, so I didn't think it would sell, but I hoped it would. Paid, you know, I think I paid about ten bucks for this, and it worked perfectly in the box. Had this listed for, woo, let's fling the pen across the room, Mike. That's awesome. Uh, had this listed for forty-one dollars and forty-eight cents, and somebody hit me up with an offer of $35 plus shipping and I accepted $35 plus 1150 shipping total of $46 and 50 cents. And the person was stoked. They left glowing feedback and they were so happy with it. And I am happy. I sold a Christmas item in May. Yeah. Next up, Harley Davidson pride, freedom, heritage, women's jacket, blah. In general, women's Harley stuff doesn't do great. And it's definitely long tail. And that's true. I'll say that period. But it still will sell. Got this uh, quite a long time ago. So long ago. I have no idea what I paid for this. Five, ten bucks. Somewhere around there. More than likely. Because I'm a cheapskate. So I had it listed up for $62.25 plus shipping. Someone hit me up with an offer of $50. And I accepted $50 plus $12.30 shipping for a total of $62.30. And 30 cents. Oh my gosh, 62.30. And what I had it originally listed for is 62.25. Oh, we know what you did. Savvy, savvy customers. Next up, the Vintage Igloo Mini Mate Insulated Cooler. This one didn't last very long. Had it for a couple months or so. Uh, picked it up for uh, less than five dollars. I can't remember exactly. Going out of my mind. Had this listed for $24.20 plus shipping, and that's what it sold for. $24.20 plus $11.95 shipping. So you're looking at, what, uh, $36 and change for the little Mini Mate Igloo Cooler. Holy crap, look at this. Like, holy moly, Batman. It's like the, the Dark Knight Rises with this picture. Look at that. Awful. It's like, what were you doing there? I think I see a star in the background. We got this lot of two Simpsons Piccadilly shirts, button-up shirts. I thought these were really neat when I picked these up. I got these at Salvation Army. Paid about five bucks a piece for these on the 25% off a day. So about $10 in on them. Had these freaking things forever. Kept on lowering the price, lowering the price. And they were really cool, you know. Uh, they were cotton and wool and nylon blend made in or woven in Scotland. Really, really neat shirts. Really high quality too. I could tell by the fabric. Had these listed for forty-one forty-eight plus shipping, and someone hit me off with an offer of twenty-two dollars, and I was like, oh, "Screw it, take it, get rid of them. Had them forever. Ten bucks into them, took twenty-two bucks plus eleven ninety-five shipping, total of thirty thirty-three ninety-five out the door. Get out, get rid of them, get them out of my bins. Still made about nine dollar profit or so. Oh yeah." Oh yeah. Where's my Sony peeps at? Where's that fool on Facebook that says Sony doesn't sell? Where you at? <laughs> the Sony Walkman. The Walkman part, the sports CD player, was from my haul video just two videos ago. Go check it out. I only paid three or four dollars for that CD player. 
I had the headphones from a video about three or four videos ago and I only paid two or three dollars so it was all in. I figured I had less than seven dollars in both of these things. The reason I put the headphones with the CD player is because the CD player was brand new but somebody had opened it and taken the headphones out. The headphones were gone. But I'm like, oh, I got a pair of Sony headphones I can combine with this bad boy. Yes, I do. Paired them up together, took some pictures, explained what I was doing in the uh, description down here. Package has been opened and only the headphones removed. CD player itself is unused and new. I'm including new and unopened pair of Sony headphones model blah, 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 blah. See what I did. And I listed them as open box still because it was open box. Had these listed for $123.38 plus shipping. And that's what they sold for. Full asking $123.38 plus $8.30 shipping. Yes, sir. Sony. For the win. Yes, 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 yes. Get your yoga on. Get it on. This never made it into a haul video because this thing was big. <laughs> it was big. It was heavy. It was wrapped up though. And I did not want to unwrap it to take pictures on eBay because people that are looking for this know what it looks like. You can Google a picture of this. You can see a picture of this. This thing was awesome. This was at the thrift store. One week we went for full asking. They had $70 on it. And I was like, oh, Eeh, uh, it's big it's heavy i don't know if i want to deal with it so we went ahead and passed even though we probably shouldn't have we passed i was being lazy that's on me we go back the next week it's still there and then it's half off 35 dollars. <sighs> gotta take it mike get off your butt do the work gotta take it so yep loaded it up hauled this heavy bad boy out to my truck and it's honestly it's set in my garage for weeks Maybe even a couple months before I actually got it listed. Because winter was in full swing. It would rain. It would snow. It would rain. It would snow. It would rain. It would rain. It would rain. It would rain. So finally when the weather cleared up, I got a chance to open my garage. You can see I just leaned it against my wall there. Took pictures. And this thing sold pretty darn quick. Only a few weeks. And I had offers and offers and offers. And I kind of stood firm on my price because I knew what this thing was worth after I bought it and researched it more in depth. Had it listed for two ninety one forty six plus shipping, and that's what it sold for. Full asking two ninety one forty six plus thirty eight dollars and thirty seven cents shipping. Yeah. So, shipping this bad boy, it was massive. So, to box this, you could build a custom box if you had some big, like plain pieces of cardboard and stuff i didn't have any of that kind of stuff i could go buy a custom box or a box that's close and it would cost me 15 or 20 bucks Eh. what i did was this was already wrapped in the cellophane heavily wrapped so what i did is i reinforced the corners with cardboard and i bubble wrapped the holy heck out of this thing bubble wrapped it and then my contractor bags. Yeah, my contractor bags. Yeah, buddy. Put a couple of contractor bags over it. Thick, heavy contractor bags. Taped it up, weighed it up, slapped a label on it, and shipped it out. Good stuff. And they got it, and they were happy with it. Man, that was a good flip. Next up, this Rain Caper hooded, hooded, reversible Rain Cape zebra print. What does the zebra say? I don't think they move, do they? No. But I got this. We got this at a charity thrift quite a long time ago for five dollars. This was brand new with the tags. Kept lowering the price. It got down to thirty six ninety eight. Someone shot me an offer of thirty dollars and fifty five cents, and I accepted thirty fifty five plus nine forty five shipping. Total of forty dollars even on the rain caper. Next up, grab it and get your clean on. Grab it mopping system cleans all floors. This this stuff, this cleaning stuff, bathroom stuff, kitchen stuff that they don't ever make usually is worth picking up. So, you know, check it out if you see it. Had this listed for $24.89, and that's what it sold for. $24.89, and get this, $18.05 shipping. California. Knows how to party. Whew. Good stuff. Next up, the the Dark Knight Rises again, the picture. 
the Lee Cross Gains. This is a Cross Green <laughs> Saturn Car Company. I've talked about Saturn stuff before. I have sold mugs and steins and sweaters and jackets and all kinds of stuff Saturn. I pick this up with up when I find it in good condition. Had this listed for twenty eight twenty five. Somebody shot me an offer of twenty four dollars and I accepted twenty four dollars plus eight thirty shipping. All in of thirty two dollars and thirty cents on the Saturn sweater. I like it. Shakespeare. I'll never probably buy this one again. <laughs> well, for one thing, the picture's terrible. Come on, Mike. You're better than this. You know you are. But the Shakespeare fishing windbreaker jacket. There you go. Awful picture. See that? Had that forever. This was pre-owned. Uh, I think I paid about five bucks for this. This was a 3XL. Had it listed for $28.40 and that's what it sold for. $28.40. So all in all, not bad. I just had it forever. Should, if I could kick myself my own butt for taking bad pictures, I would. I should go back and take better ones. But who's got the time for that? I don't have the time for that. Wish I did. Going out of my mind as it is. But yeah, still good profit off the Shakespeare jacket. Fitbit. This is another super quick flip. My wife found this in bags just two weeks ago. I uh, paid just like two or three dollars for the whole bag of stuff. And she spotted this from a mile away. Brand new Fitbit Zip wireless activity tracker. Brand new. Um, yeah, had it listed for $59.70. And did we take an offer? Heck no, it sold for full asking $59.70 plus $5.35. First class shipping. Going out, headed out for good. Cool. Next up, we've already showed the, the uh, told the story about the subscriber buying the jeans. So that's one thing on this account that sold. And what are the other four things? We got the Duluth, Minnesota Peeps. What's up? Denise, Lauren, Melissa Soto. What's going on? Long time no see. Duluth Trading Company denim overalls. These are a women's 31. Of course, I put measurements down here. You always got to put your measurements. Doubly so for the ladies. Put your measurements in there. Duluth Trading Company overall bibs paid just uh, five bucks or so for these. Not much at all. I was actually surprised how cheap they had these priced. Shh, don't tell them. They'll raise the price. Had these listed for $44.30, and that's what they sold for. $44.30 plus $8.75 shipping, total of $53.05. Woo! Like that. It's good stuff. Here's another one of these dog keychains. is a bearded collie, like a uh, charm keychain. Brand new in the package. We got a whole bunch of these for just a few bucks for all of them. And I've just been slowly selling these, and this one sold for... Uh, ten dollars and 64 cents plus eight dollar shipping since then i've lowered the price a little bit that's why it says 1021 because i have a strategy on my pricing now you could probably figure it out you you all are smart folks but yeah this old you know they're just long tail item but that brings in a few dollars every once in a while christmas again in may oh my gosh ho 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 rudolph the red-nosed reindeer i can hear the christmas music already Elvis, yeah, Elvis, I loved Elvis, been to Graceland, it's a good time, we picked this up for about five bucks, uh, again, just a few days before Christmas last year, hoping it would sell during Christmas season, and it didn't, but you know, we still had it up, and I had it up for $30.30, .30, and someone shot me an offer of $20, and I accepted, why not, making good profit. $20 plus $9.30 shipping. You see what they did there. They just wanted shipping for free. So yeah, glad to sell the Christmas stuff in May. And last up, we have the Shane Powers uh, wall pocket. This is for West Elm. We had this for quite a while. I mean, decent picture, but the green background, you know, for a fact, it's a little bit older. Uh, paid just a few dollars for this, two or three, four dollars or so and something like that. Had it listed for $34.23. And we took a best offer of $28 plus $13.40 shipping for a total of $41.40. Whew. That was pretty good stuff. 20 awesome items that sold on eBay. 
all of you out there in YouTube world, please check out uh, my uh, website at newfoundpass.com. I have posted pictures for our auction coming up May 26th. Bunch of good stuff. Video games, laptop, computer. Got a uh, hat lot. Awesome hats. 35 hats. Good stuff. And soon I'll be posting pictures of inaugural invitations, comic books, and more. So you guys check that out. Newfoundpass.com. <laughs> Thanks to all of our patrons, subscribers, old subscribers, new subscribers, everyone in between. You guys are awesome. Thanks. We'll see you later.